Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like, don't forget to subscribe and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm back on site at the um, bathroom renovation, just stepped in and um, yeah, hopefully Going to be a good progressing day today um, thanks for all the comments um, i'm going to try and get back to as many as you can uh, sometimes i get in a bit late because i've got about an hour's drive home after i finish here so don't really sometimes have the energy to sort of get into all the comments that i've got to answer but i'm going to try and respond to you guys as soon as possible i'm um, just going to show you guys um what i did yesterday and what the plans are today what i'm going to plan to do today so yeah this is the floor flooring that i did yesterday nice um did in here also went around around to here as well uh, i got a little bit of floor in there to do as well um i put the toilet seat on actually yesterday after i filmed i remembered so i fitted that um yesterday so that's sort of done uh, this is the sink and and uh tap and pedestal that's gonna go there um so yeah basically i'm up to here Obviously now I can stand here and work in this area. So today's plan is to do the drainage in here. Um, I also might work on this. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to figure out what's the best way to work around so I don't sort of hinder myself. Um, I'm going to spray this place down and bleach as well today. A couple times I'll do that, let it dry a couple times. Um, but yeah, main thing is going to be to do that. So I'm going to take this out and put the bit of pipe in and glue it in to the level that i want it at and start sort of cutting it's going to be quite interesting cuts the way i'm going to do this is i have i have a slope going that way and a slope from that side coming towards the hole i also sloping from this side to here and sloping from that side to here so all four corners sort of slope there so how I normally do this um, with these sort of concrete showers is I put the tiles in a diamond pattern. So if you imagine the corner of the tile will sort of be here and it'll sort of be one tile going like that and the other side will be going that way. So sort of I'll turn it as a diamond and then I'll, I'll do one corner here and I'll do one corner here and then I'll do from the corner like that. So sort of turn the tiles. So I'll be basically using the corner of the tile. If you imagine that's the hole there of the drain, it'd be like that. And then the four corners of the tiles will go that way. So it will look like a diamond pattern. Um, so yeah, just a lot of awkward sort of. Once I've got the first sort of large one in, it's easy to measure the, the other ones. I'll cut them all first, then I'll mix some adhesive and embed them in so i'm going to start with sorting out that pipe first i'll show you that as i'm doing it and then we get on to this so this is my um trap um and the way this works is it's got two screws you can take it off if you need to clean around there i've already threaded that on with some plastic pvc tape um, this gets glued onto a section of pipe and the other end of the pipe gets glued down onto there so i just need to get it to the right size i'm going to get a bit of tile and just make sure i get this at the right height and then i'll measure how long my pipe is cut it glue it in and then sort of work around the of tile and um, the idea is these will sort of sit like that just under the edge of it that's how i want it to sit so obviously it's gonna have adhesive on it as well but something like that will be nice back there which is so it's seven email. Seven centimeters exactly. So 
that's what it looks like inside the hole if you remember before I did sort of use the pipe and make the hole a bit larger so it'll be easier to get into the to the pipe so I'm going to glue that pipe down into there and then and then glue it onto that Alright guys, I should try and explain how I'm sort of mapping this out. So I want the, the point of the tiles to be in the centre there. So I will have to cut a sort of bit of the corner out. But for now I'm measuring it to right in the centre. And diagonally, point to point, the tiles are 85 centimetres. Let's double check that. Yes, 85 centimetres. So, if I measure from the middle, I've done a straight line here in the centre of the tower. Uh, see if I can get 85. Wow, very interesting. I'm literally touching the wall. So that sort of makes it easier. Well, 85 is coming off sort of tiny bit off. touches the wall, touches the wall here. So what I need to do now is just to get a 45 degree angle off this line here, that way, and 45 that way, and then I'll know what the distance is when you cut that tile. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get a small bit of a tile and use that to get the angle.
Alright guys, as you can see, I've got the first one in. Pretty much how I want it. Right just underneath the lip of that. Tie up to the wall there. Tie up to the wall there. And tie up to the wall here as well. So yeah, that's the hard bit done. Next I'll do this triangle here, that triangle here, that little bit there. One, two, so one, two, three, four probably five pieces and then that's done all right guys so uh, just give you a quick update i've been doing some cuttings uh some sort of awkward angles and so on but yeah got them nice and uh straight i just want to show you guys what it's looking like so obviously i've got two more to do over there those are quite easy because a simple triangle um so very easy all i need to do is just measure from here to there and from there to there and then cut that out um, I'll just show you a close up of what it looks like, just sort of roughly laid out. Um, so, obviously, uh, once they get the adhesive, they'll come up a little bit and then they'll sit literally tight, flat underneath that. Um, and this this one here, so when I, when I lay this out, I'll double check it. Um, it sort of needs, the back needs to raise up a little bit. So, when I put the adhesive, I'll make sure that I'm getting a slight slope this way. Um, and then obviously this one again sort of sloping that way and this one um, which it already is I'll make sure it's sloping that way and make sure that obviously this one here is flat now but I'll make sure it's sort of sloping a little bit that way so I would have always rolled down this tile and this one will roll down this tile down that tile down that and they'll always end up here and obviously these two ones I'll continue to slope uh, flat with this tile and continue that one flat. So that should be good. Yeah, but yes, yeah, looking good. So I'll um, cut these other two and then I can um, mix some adhesive and then embed these. All right, guys, this is our shower uh, all cut. Um, so I'm ready to mix up some adhesive now and lay this down, and that's the shower tray done. sweep up and all that um, yeah I've checked all the falls all the angles corners this seems to be all nice falling all the right way so I'll just show you guys what I've done now so I, I ran around for the ECF literally I just had enough second bag that I finished to finish tiling inside here so I need to get some more to do those two little bits by the toilet and then there's two little sort of small bits that I'll show you that I need to do obviously I need to do the walls so I'm gonna need more anyway so Need to probably get another bag, but um, show you what I've done so far. So basically, this is where I'm at. As you can see, that's I'll say that I've got a little piece there. And I've got a little piece there to do, but this is all done. So we've got our sort of slight fall here. We've got a slight fall here again. We've got a slight fall here, and we've also got a fall here, which continues um, and levels here goes down basically very slightly what then is as well um, I've been going around I did some sanding I sanded all these bits down you can see that I filled the last time went around and sort of did a lot of sanding ceilings ready for paint um, what I did had to do a little bit more filling because there was this crack that I missed for some reason and also I had missed a bit up there because I had to get this nail out which I've done now and um, also we ended up moving this cupboard it was supposed to stay and get rebuilt but it's come out now so i had to fill in all the all the screw holes for that there as well so done a little bit more filling and then when i'm ready to paint i can basically sand those bits down um, and then i can paint the room so that'll be obviously the last thing to do so what i want to try and do now is i'm probably going to hit the ceilings with some white paint um and uh yeah and then that'll call it i call it a day really 
uh, tomorrow I will I will work on this tomorrow I'm gonna grind this and cut that out replace the the pipe work and all that shower thing here get this all sort of cleaned up and then once that's plumbed then I can start tiling in this area shouldn't really take too long to tile this it's quite an easy bit to tile so um yeah and then once all that's tiling I can grout everything and um and then ready for paint right guys so i got a little bit of motivation and i just went a bit crazy started painting painted a coat of paint on the ceiling and i decided i just want to get a coat on the walls as well so uh yeah i've been doing a lot of painting I stayed for another two hours so uh, it's just like quarter six now so i'm done now but i'll show you what i've done and um yes yeah, it's, it's looking good the color i like the color sort of a light gray grayish bluish i guess it'd be nice to see it tomorrow when the sun's out and better lighting because the lighting's quite bad in here um actually there's a bulb missing as well so but i'll show you what it looks like all right so basically um this is the color i put sort of like a, a coat on the walls i also gave the ceiling a coat of white as well um the light's obviously bad now because the sun's setting so the lighting's terrible to really see it but i'll just finish the coat here as well um, on the walls and so on in here um, take it around in here as well done all the walls up here in the shower room caught on the ceiling as well um, and i've just stopped here with the paint because it's going to be tiled so i stopped here um, there's no it, this is going to be replaced that light there's no light bulb anyway so it's quite dark in here but um yeah it was looking when the sun was out it was looking really nice so it's getting a bit dark now so it's sort of hard to see the paint but um i did some filling here as well so once that's all dry i sand that down i can continue to paint and take it around the corner but um yeah it's looking good i like the color and uh tomorrow as i said once you see it in the daylight i'll try and film it again see what it looks like and obviously it's only had one coat but um so far so good walls have come out good as well so that's going to be it for me today guys um, i'm going to shoot off now um hope you guys enjoyed the video and the progress today good progress today i'm um, back here tomorrow again so um hopefully tomorrow i should attack that shower get that shower replaced and get that shower area cleaned up and possibly maybe fit the sink um, and then ready for tiling in the shower yeah so moving along then i can grout here do all my silicone and stuff like that little finishing bits and second coat of paint and that so a couple of days i should imagine it'll be done here so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a like let me know what you think subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel and uh, we'll see you back tomorrow take care